Hey everyone, this is Pick for Life, and in today's P4 review, we're doing a quick follow up to the uh, Ocular Max PS01 Sphinx uh, review. And this is actually coming from a number of people. Um, they've asked me uh, a number of times to do a explanation on how to replace the head or um, put on one of the alternate heads or back of the heads that you see here with Sphinx. Um, I thought it was pretty straightforward but uh, apparently not. Even though they go through it in the instructions, which I, I briefly touched on um, previously in my review, uh, let's see right here, like on the last page, um, I thought it made it pretty obvious. You just take off the head and then it says unscrew the faceplate and re remove the eyepiece. And uh, I thought that was pretty obvious, but people are having a lot of tr problems with it. So here we are. So really the, the options you have are the two extra faces. So right now I'm just going to use the smiling face right here, which is one of the um, optional faces. And then I'll go ahead and even swap out the clean back as opposed to the, um, I guess, a tampoed uh, design that's already on the stock back of the head. So the first thing we'll do is actually let's go ahead and prepare the, the new face. So what you're going to have to do is just split the head. And there's kind of a, a gap here for where the um, face actually tabs in in alt mode. So you can kind of work it in there when you have this big gap at the bottom. So you can just slowly work it out. And it's just two uh, posts that go into these um, holes here. And then you'll see a hole here. That's for the screw that you're going to need when you replace the face. So let's just put that off to the side. And when you're working with the installed head, the easiest thing to do, if you have the shoulder can installed, get rid of it. Uh, the tools you'll need really are something to pry the, the two halves open. With this one, it was very easy because it was um, open at the bottom and you had e pretty easy access. The stock head does come a little bit tighter. And uh, so if you have some kind of pry tool, I usually have my spudger, that black plastic thing that I usually use to pry stuff and point at stuff in my reviews. I can't find it. I'm super sad about that, but um, I do a lot of iPhone repair, or at least did in the past. And so I have a lot of these kits where you have these kind of pry tools. Um, if you are a guitar player, a guitar pick might work really well. And if you're really desperate, you might be able to get get by with just a maybe credit card or um, even your fingernail, depending on how robust your fingernail is. Uh, then you also need a small screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver to do one, undo one screw. So that's really it. Um, same thing with the stock head. You just really need to get in and pry the front half and back half um, open. The stock configuration is pretty tight, which is why I had used uh, the little recess here to kind of gain some leverage. And you just kind of want to slowly work your way around. And you don't want to, you don't want to force it. You just want to slowly kind of jiggle whatever tool or fingernail you're using to get enough of a gap, even gap all the way around. And then also if you have, um, for example, if you have this guitar pick tool, you can do that as well. You just really need to wedge it in there and slowly work it. And at some point you're gonna be confident enough that you're gonna be able to pull the two halves together, two halves apart, like I showed you before. So you're gonna remove the back half and then uh, the front half is attached to this little white piece, which is the, actually the eyepiece that is painted on the front. So that's when you bring in your screwdriver. Small Phillips head. I think this is a size zero. Just go ahead and unscrew it. If you need a tutorial on how to do that, you need uh, to start wearing a helmet because that should be very intuitive how to unscrew something. You're gonna open that up and then you'll have these two pieces here. Uh, so this is the white piece that holds the eyepiece in and the white piece in here is actually the piece that was painted. And again, um, there's not a real good way to get to this piece. So the best way is to get work underneath. And you don't really have to worry about scratching anything because only those two eye, eye sections here, the eyes themselves, uh, you wanna prevent from scratching that. You get, I guess you could push through on that, but I, I'm too afraid of damaging the paint on the eye. So I just work from the bottom, again, using some kind of pry tool. 
or even a small flathead screwdriver would work here because again you're not really trying to uh, you're not going to do a lot of damage here so once you have that pulled apart you can see that the eyes themselves are just a rounded piece that is painted in that metallic blue so once you have that the stock head you can put that off to the side let's bring in the replacement head pieces the clear the the clean back and the smirky face and what you're going to do is come around to the back and you'll see there's a those posts on either side actually slot into these kind of grooves or uh, semicircles that are notched out, these notches. Just press that in, like so. Sorry, it keeps focusing on the background. Once you have that, you'll see that it's in place. Then you're gonna have to put this in with a screw. Uh, the easiest thing to do is to actually put that back on the ball joint first, the ball peg, come behind and sandwich that into place and that will hold the head on. And then go ahead and reassemble by screwing this in. Be very careful since it's, I, I don't think the front of the head, the replacement head is pre-threaded. So just be careful, you do wanna get it nice and snug in there so that the ball joint is uh, pretty nice and tight. You don't want a floppy head on your Sphinx. There we go. And then you can take either the original head, back of the head, or the new head and just squeeze it into place with those two posts. And just give it a nice tight squeeze so that there's no gap there. And with that, we have a new head, a very goofy looking smoke, smirking head on Sphinx. You can go ahead and reattach the shoulder cannon. And you can now have the other stored away by closing the two halves together. And there we go. So that, those were the instructions on how to uh, install the alternate head or faceplate for your Ocular Max Sphinx. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you like the review, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up to date with all my news and reviews, you can go ahead and click that new P4L Reviews logo floating at the top right of your screen. And also follow me on Facebook at Pay for Life Reviews. Hopefully this was helpful, and as always, have a good one.